Stages of a relationship with a narcissist. The beginning, the middle and the end. Can you relate to any of these? Some of us miss a few steps, some of us add a few on. Although a relationship with a narcissist are similar, they're not all exactly the same. And this is stages of a intimate relationship with a partner. I'm Elizabeth Shaw, welcome to the channel, which is all about the narcissistic personality disorder to give you more understanding of what you've been through, how to handle these people if you can't go no contact, how to do no contact correctly and ways to recover from narcissistic abuse. This video is because I do get asked a lot how long it takes to recover and it varies from person to person. So this is just sort of a rough idea on stages, more for entertainment purposes, just to see what you can relate to, give you those light bulb moments, give you some idea of where you are at, because we all like to know those kinds of answers, or most of us like to know those kinds of answers. And you you might not go through them all, so don't don't take it all personally. Um, you might miss some out. So stage one, you get into a relationship with a fantastic person, believing you've met the one, your soulmate you have found. They are perfect in every way. With dating, you are now done. Stage two, the narcissist changes towards you. Arguments, gaslighting, the silent treatment and much more. You should really kick them out of the door. But you don't see it as them being the problem. You've been manipulated into thinking it's all down to you. So you work harder to please them again in everything that you do. Stage three, they leave you for someone new. They've been on dating sites, perhaps getting close to someone you knew. They make you look crazy to the new person or while they're enjoying triangulating you. The new person doesn't understand that their situation is also about to worsen. Stage four, they come back. You believe they've changed because of the trauma bond and the love that you had in the beginning before their mask slipped. You give it another go. And in, in reality, what you know now is you should have said no. Stage five, the narcissist changes towards you again, yet you still don't see it to be them because of all their manipulation. The narcissist continues against you with great calculation. Stage six, they leave again, not giving you any answers, not wanting to talk to you, no clothes you're given, threats towards you are made. You have finally left them knowing they'll never give to you any of the promises that they ever made. Stage seven, you try to find answers for yourself and you take to Google as your mind starts to wonder. What you discover leaves your mind in quite a ponder. Stage eight, the narcissist comes back to make amends. Because of all the self-doubt they have given you, you decide not to believe in all that you read. There are different types of narcissists. It's on a spectrum. Yes, most narcissistic people cannot be cured, but perhaps you can be the one to help and you can change them or you're thinking, am I the narcissist? Am I lucky to have them to put up with me? Because in fact, I am the narcissist. So you try again, or you think they made a genuine mistake. So you try again for it to cycle back around, back around to the end yet again. Stage nine, now it is the end one final time. Getting out was not easy. You decided enough is enough of their threats of violence, but you're not going to keep your silence. You go to the police and get restraining orders to keep them away from you so you can start rebuilding your life. Now to the narcissist, you have created your own border. Stage 10, you're back on the internet again, trying to learn more about who they are, as this helps you recover and discover who you indeed are. Stage 11, 
you get to a stage after learning about the narcissist that actually you're no longer that afraid of them and their manipulative games. You know who they are and everything they do. You know that they cannot change. You know all their ways. Some of you may need to move far away. You can start to learn to love and trust within yourself again, learn to love and trust others again. You start to pity the narcissist because, you know, it's something they'll never be able to do. You even feel pity for the replacement to them. You no longer hold any resentment, knowing they're at the start of the journey of everything that you have just been through. Stage 12, you think about warning that new person as you're a good-hearted person with empathy that doesn't want to see harm come to others. Then you remember where it all started and how the narcissist told you all the exes were crazy. You know the narcissist will have made out to them that you are too. So... Feeling remorseful that you cannot help, you leave it well alone as that battle is not for you to do. You have to move forward and do what is right for you. Stage 13, your clarity becomes clearer day by day. They may still be playing games and as you grow stronger and start loving yourself more in every way, you realise that warped and insane person that your ex truly is you give no reaction to the games they try to play they look rather silly playing alone you know they can never change their behavior you know everything you've been through and how you've acted is completely normal around some abnormal situations that normal people who love and have empathy in that kind of situation would do the same as you. Now all the self-doubts you had are starting to disappear and you're beginning to see life clearly again. Stage 14, you've given yourself the closure and you know it's time to move on because from today your new life has begun. You know about narcissists and all that they do, how similar they are in so many ways. You start to enjoy all of your days. You know how others have been in similar situations, so you start reaching out to others to help with recovery, as knowing you are not alone helps to rebuild your trust. You're trusting others that you have got through it before, and they can get through it too. You're no longer afraid to speak up as in your life, the narcissist is no more. Stage 15, your positive thoughts are growing day by day. You can see clearly in your own authentic way and the future seems brighter than it ever was before. For yourself, you begin to open that new door. Stage 16, you look back on the experience and see it for precisely what it was. You know the narcissist will always be stuck in that warped, lonely mind of theirs. The relationship was no good for you. You did not benefit. You now know this is all true. Stage 17, you have grown stronger and wiser than you were before. You know the signs to look out for in those real energy draining vampires that exist out there in our world. They are genuinely soul crushing and destroying and they just come under the name of a narcissist. You are genuinely at peace and happy within yourself again. You are no longer interested in any form of abuse that they want to hurl your way. Stage 18. The narcissist no longer has any hold over you in any way, shape or form. Although you may think of that narcissist now and again, you know you were never to blame. You no longer want to see or contact them. You are in control of your own life. The narcissist will always be in some form of strife. So as thinking about the narcissist becomes less and less, you know they have no true feelings and do not care about anyone other than themselves. Healing is evident within yourself. You 
See that the narcissist might reappear to try and destroy everything you've gained. You're hoping to never see or hear from them again. Now, though, you are wiser and much stronger, weak, you are no longer. So, narcissist, well done. You won, achieved everything you wanted. You messed with my head and my life in every single way. Savor your victories as they'll never last. Because of you, I'm stronger and happier than the person I was in the past. You helped teach me who I am today and you inspired me. So, Thank you for all the lessons you gave because in life now I am winning, whereas you'll always be stuck at the beginning, cycling around again and again in that empty soul you have to which I am not to blame. So whatever stage of the journey you are at, believe in yourself. Happiness again you will achieve. You can do this. Others have done this before. You you will do it too. You are stronger and wiser than you know. You are more than capable of living an abundant and happy life. Keep going. You've got this.